I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. It's important to our planet. It is important for the world. Nothing on the face of this earth is going to stop me from broadcasting. I will begin making tapes. And I will make them in the hundreds and distribute them all over this country. And the people who receive those tapes will make the tens and hundreds of copies and distribute them also. And we will have an underground radio. Anyone who believes what anyone else writes or says without thoroughly researching it and making sure that it is absolutely true is a puppet on a string. Do you understand what I'm talking about? What is our common bond truly? Freedom! You're listening to the Hour of the Time. I'm your host, William Cooper. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we begin the origin, the history, the dogma, and the identity of the ancient mystery religions which are now known as the Mystery School, the Order of the Quest, Freemasonry, the Ancient Order of the Rose and Cross, the Knights Templar, the Sovereign and Military Order of the Knights of Malta, the Order of St. John of Jerusalem, the Priory de Sion, the Order, the Skull and Bones, the Russell Trust, the Jason Society, the Scroll and Key, the Illuminati, and I could go on and on and on, but the most important thing to realize is that they all have been collectively known throughout the ages as the mystery schools, the Illuminati, which literally means illumined ones. They are all one and the same, as you will come to know. And you will understand perfectly how they've been able to infiltrate all of our society. They have ruled from the shadows, and they call themselves the guardians of the secrets of the ages. For in the religion of the mystery schools, they believed that man was held prisoner in the Garden of Eden by an unjust and vindictive God. And that man was not told by this unjust and vindictive God that he could have the same powers. And man was set free from the bonds of ignorance by Lucifer through his agent Satan, and many believe that the two are the same. That's okay, because maybe they are. And that through the gift of intellect, man himself will become God. Now, for those of you who understand what I am imparting to you now, you may not even have to listen any farther, for it explains everything that has ever happened in the history of man, and everything that is happening now, and all that is to happen in the future. better than animals who do not have intelligence because they don't use their intelligence. And to these men who control things behind the scenes, you are stakes on the table by choice and consent and will always be ruled and manipulated and enslaved by people who do use their brains. And I sincerely believe that any man or woman who does not have principles for which they're ready and willing to die for at any given moment that they're called upon to do that is already dead and are of no use or consequence to themselves or anyone else and will be unhappy throughout their life for that very reason and that very reason alone.
Those of you who are smart enough to know what is transpiring here know that these are historic broadcasts. And by making these broadcasts, I have sealed my fate. When, oh God, when will you wake up?